So let's start with a short video from uh, one of the influencers from Morocco. Interestingly as well, two women uh, influencers coming from Morocco. The first one is from Ihsane Benalouj. ولكن باللاتي فين حنا وشنو كنديرو هنا نبداو من الاول جينا للمكتب المسير لبرنامج ايراسموس بريبات ايراسموس اللي كتعتبر برنامج الاتحاد الاوروبي للتربيه التعليم الشباب والرياضه غادي نشارككم قصه امل ابطالها شباب تحداو الاعاقه ورسموا طريق لاهدافهم واهم حاجه حقوا مجموعة من الإنجازات في حياتهم تلاقينا بالشباب اللي غادي يشاركونا فيديو اليوم وتعرفنا عليهم وتعرفنا كذلك على المشروع اللي جمعهم مشروع بيسز هذا الفضاء في القاتل الجامعة السنة الجامعية في 2016-2017 على إثر أحد البرنامج بشاركة مع الاتحاد الأوروبي كان اسميته سوينج وهذا البرنامج من بعد كان تمديد ديالو ولكي تسمى بيسز That was a short introductory video to the work of Exane and her um, in, uh, submissions into the In Their Eyes competition. The other is, uh, influencer from Morocco is Niz Nizreen El Katani. Let's take a short look at her work. الملجأ الوحيد ديالي في هذه الظروف هي الجمعيه اللي تسمع لي وتحتضنني جيت لجمعيه انصاف في مدينه الدار البيضاء المؤسسه الوطنيه للتضامن مع النساء في وضعيه صعبه غير في هذه اللحظات صراحه شكرا لجمعيه انصاف اللي خلاتني نعيش هذه التجربه شكرا للاتحاد الاوروبي اللي شارك في تمويل الجمعيه واللي عطاني الفرصه انني نتعرف عليها دخلت لهذه الجمعيه وليت كندخل منها المصروف ديك الساعه كنا كنخدموها غير الفراش ونتغطاو بها ونلبسوها صافي والحمد لله دابا راك انسانه قويه متمكنه هزه مسؤوليه ديال الوليدات عندك مشروع مشروع حياه ضروري خص شي واحد اللي يكون معاك اللي يسمع لك واللي يساندك واللي ما يحاكمكش يعني حنايا هنايا في يعني في المجتمع ديالنا كاملين المراه هي اللي كتحاكم حيت حنا I'm just going to read a quick statement from the EU ambassador to Morocco, Morocco Claudia Waidi, who was unfortunately able to connect with us. She just wanted to send in a message to say that she was sorry the technology didn't work out. She was happy to see Iksain and Nizreen become goodwill ambassadors and that their videos caught the attention of a great audience and that they were attractive in the fact that they shed light on the most and important aspects of her delegation's work, the human being and the citizen. That's what she was delighted to see. They also said there's numerous programs in support of young self-entrepreneurs and students and young graduates. And at the time, they're working hand in hand with Moroccan civil society to give as many local in innovative, innovative initiatives for young people the possibility. She wants people to know that the Erasmus Plus program uh, remains something uh, like an island where universal shared values continue to survive and that they need uh, the imagination and openness of influencers like Exxon and um, Nizreen and that they happy to, she's really looking forward to working with the two influencers when obviously the situation with the, the pandemic abates. But I think we have Exane, so perhaps let's start our discussion uh, with, with you. 
I think one of the really interesting things about the two submissions from Morocco, from both of you influencers, is that you work, you're both women and you both work in long form video, um, where they're sort of 20 minutes long, your videos. Why do you produce uh, videos like that, Exane? Well, hello. Hi, Jack. Hello, Your Excellency. Hello, Nisreen. Hello, everyone. Um, my videos are long because I try my best to mix between the vlog and between the documentary because I'm a journalist. So that's why I think uh, telling a story needs more minutes so we can um, let people use and interact, you know. Uh, so that's why I think it's, it's uh, that long. Yeah, I think it's really, really interesting. It gives loads of space to the stories that you're telling and you really sort of go in depth with them. Nisreen, uh, I, wonder, I wonder if you can explain why you chose the EU-funded projects that you did when you p decided to participate in the In Their Eyes uh, competition. Yeah, do, do you hear me? We do. Okay, good, good. Thank you. So uh, I'm so happy to be uh, to be part uh, for uh, uh, the eyes uh, company. Um, I uh, support women cause. I uh, work for uh, association here, a different association here in Morocco to address sexual uh, uh, harassment and uh, suffered by women. So automatically, I chose uh, women cause. Uh, so I work with this uh, project about single mom yeah, and violence. It was both of you had really, really some of the most powerful videos of the submissions from any of the eight uh, southern neighbourhood EU countries. Um, what are you going to use your title, Exane, um, as an EU goodwill ambassador to do? What does it mean to you, and what do you hope it can? change in the way you influence? Well, um, it's an honor for me to be a goodwill ambassador with the uh, European Union because it means power. It means so much for me because my number one priority is you. So I think, I believe we can make amazing content together, amazing projects together, build them for our youth in Morocco. So uh, that's why I think it's very, um, it's, 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 it's my pleasure to, to be a Goodwill Ambassador. I still didn't mention this on my social media. I'm so happy so I can uh, work with the, uh, Her Excellency Claudia and with the European, uh, European Union. Thank you so much, guys. Um, so, Niz Nizreen, perhaps you can explain what you will tr try and do with uh, the title of Goodwill Ambassador. What will you use this and how will you try and ch use this position uh, when you're creating content, creating video for your followers? Yeah, for me, new title, it's a new responsibility. So we must uh, work uh, and uh, do more efforts, uh, me and Ihsan and all, uh, and all uh, participants. So uh, I think uh, it will be uh, um, a nice experience in the future and uh, we should work for the new projects, inshallah. So what is it like being a female influencer in a country like Morocco? What does this movement, do you know, in the last 10 years, the idea of an influencer has come about. What does it mean for female empowerment in your societies? Uh, I'll start with you, Exane. It was hard, but now I think it's, uh, it's not that hard because there's a lot of influencers that are female. Uh, but I think we still have some stereotype that we need to change and especially that girls can do a lot of amazing things together and also we can create a, a better content on social media. We can do a lot of things also in real life. So it's not that challenging, uh, but I think a lot of girls now believe that they have the power. What is your dream going forward, Nizreen? Um, what, what, how do you sort of view your career as an online influencer? What, what would you like to do with, with the platform that you have? Um, uh, so I think uh, uh, it's hard, uh, but uh, 
now uh, we do more effort to uh, to uh, spread uh, our uh, energy and uh, chime in uh, our voice in our society and talking about uh, the projects so uh, it uh, uh, allowed me to get a closer look uh, at various condition women uh, in our society like listening to them uh, and passing with them and uh, the most importantly channeling their voice via social media so um one of the vi the videos that you submitted exam was about um a, a eu funded project for people living with uh, disabilities how i wonder if you can just exp i mean obviously you you realized that that was a, an eu funded project but how did you go about producing that video when you're creating that content what do you aim for in a fi finished product well i believe that there is a lot of uh good example of people that living for example with uh down syndrome with disabilities they are amazing they did so much work uh so i i wanted to be their voice i wanted to show them to people and then uh take from them power because uh, they are a good example for us so that's why i wanted to um you know change and uh, also like correct some stereotype about them we have a lot of wrong wrong informations about those people so let's change it together let's believe that we can make a change so we can make it all together so this is the way i believe that i have this responsibility to film them to uh, raise the vo their voices to everyone around the world not just to moroccans it was honestly so powerful and sort of emotional, but also really inspiring and sort of a bright video. It left me sort of smiling at the end of it, despite some of the hardships that some of these people have to go through. And um, Nisreen, you did, you did quite some quite powerful videos about a women's centre uh, that was really quite uh, emotional as well. How do you go about creating this content? What responsibilities do you feel when you choose that kind of subject, that, uh, an EU-funded women's centre uh, that is dealing with some pretty serious issues, some violence towards women, etc.? Yeah, one one of the projects is about single mom. It was for me uh, an opportunity I always dream uh, of as a child. So a particular radio program will come in a success story of a single mom. So uh, for me, uh, it was a very, very, very nice experience. Um, alongside, uh, uh, I think uh, the company in their eyes for me uh, that I've uh, got to know new content makers from different uh, countries uh the middle east so uh, it was and it will be uh, a good experience okay so thank you so much for, to exane and to nizreen i really appreciate speaking to you stay tuned good luck for the awards when we announce the winners of the five categories later